Hey everyone, this is Joanne coming to you live from New York. I'm also known as hashtag unicorn boss. So as you guys are jumping online tonight, go ahead and hit me up with some unicorn emojis since those are my jam. If you're grabbing me live, go ahead and leave me a number one. And if you're catching me on the replay, go ahead and leave me a number two. So super excited tonight, you guys. I'm going to be doing a little bit more of a business live tonight, but I've got a really fun story uh, to share with you. So I hope that you will stick around and hear what it's all about. Um, I had something really amazing happened tonight and I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. So hopefully you guys will really enjoy the story. You'll feel a little bit inspired and uh, we'll get back to cooking on my page hopefully tomorrow. So I am so sorry about that. But as you guys are jumping online, welcome. Go ahead and give me a number one. If you're grabbing me live, say hi. Let me know where you're coming in from. And if you're catching me on the replay, go ahead and leave me a number two. So by the way, if you're a brand new friend, don't forget to comment new below so that way I can circle back around and say hi. I love connecting with all of my brand new friends. And if we're not connected yet, don't forget to go ahead and send me a friend request and hit follow. So if you click on the bottom here, it should pop up. You can hit follow and see first. And also up here, you click can click and turn on uh, the live notifications. If you have a lot of fun and you enjoy my space here, I would love uh, for you to give this video a quick share. I so appreciate your love and support. So let me say hi to a few people and then we'll get started. I've got a really fun story for you guys tonight. So I think you'll really enjoy it. I'm like coming off of a very emotional high. So hopefully I'll be able to hold it together while I tell you what happened. So hi Shota. Hi Carrie. Jackie from Las Vegas. Hi Ashley. Hey Jill. Hi B. Welcome. Hi Jean. So I wanted to share about what happened tonight because it's so epic. I can't not share it with you all. So I had planned on doing some cooking, but like we're just going to have to pause this I'll save that recipe for tomorrow so I have a question for you so how many of you guys feel the call to do something does anybody ever have you do you know what I mean when I say do you feel the call like you feel like you're called to maybe try something brand new maybe work on a project uh, maybe speak at an event share your story um, have you ever felt the call before like one of your friends pops into your mind and you just know that like they need you and you know you need to give them a phone call can anybody relate if you can go ahead and give me a number three below um but that's happened to me before like sometimes even like with just a stranger walking down the street i'm very intuitive so sometimes i get this feeling where this person needs me to walk up to them and say hi and it's it's not easy you guys it's like completely scary um but i've done this before i heed the call i'm very intuitive and i've done that where um and i've had somebody literally tell this to me once i i felt the call i was actually in new york city i was walking around and i felt the call once to go up to somebody in particular and just say hi and smile to them and i did and i, I didn't know what they needed but you know that person told me that they were contemplating suicide and that like their smile that my smile that i gave to them just that i saw them and that they were important changed their life so that's that's what i'm talking about you guys when i say the call so i'm seeing all the number three blows perfect Woo! at least i'm not crazy so you guys know what i'm talking about hi todd welcome hi amber so so that's what i'm talking about heeding the call and it's it's not easy to do and how many of you have have heard the call before but then you're too scared to answer and it's okay if 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 you felt that way because i'll be the first one to raise my hand i've had so many calls that i've received about things to do people that need me and i don't follow through and then i've i've come to regret that so what happens is now because i've I've failed at this miserably so many times in my past is that now when I hear the call, I, I barely fight it. Like I just go for it because I know that in that moment, if I can just push through the fear, that's where the blessings lie. And, and don't you guys get like crazy blessed when you listen to your heart and you go right through and you just like push through it. You know that there's tons of blessings just waiting for you on the other end. So, um, all right, so let me tell you a little backstory now. So two years ago, uh, I told my mentor at the time I was in a different business than the one I'm in currently. By the way, it was a failed business. I had four failed businesses before my current one. <laughs> believe it or not um but I just kept believing and I just kept pushing through and I knew that I would find the right thing for me eventually but I told my mentor that I have this passion I have this drive I have this desire that I really want to be on stage training people 
Like I really just want to share my story and impact hundreds of people. And she was like, you know what, now that you've told me that, I could actually see you doing it. You are going to do it one day. And at the time, like, I kind of thought it was this crazy dream. I was like, huh, who's going to listen to me? You know, I'm nobody, you know. But I just couldn't shake this vision of me training people. And in my corporate job, for those of you that don't know, I did, I trained tons of people. I just love training people. I love pouring my heart and soul into people. You know what I mean? It's just, it's so, it gets me fired up. It's really exciting. So that was two years ago. I told my mentor, it was my, my first time ever saying that out loud that I want to train people. And I want, want to, I don't want to train like 10 people. Like I want to train hundreds of people. I want to train all of the people. So tonight, you guys, that just became a reality. So I'm just like, I'm on cloud nine. I just wanted to share it with you and hopefully give you guys some inspiration. So thanks for all of the love in the comments. I'm seeing all the comments, but I'm trying to stay on track. Um, so earlier today, I got this opportunity. I literally just finished leading a giant training in front of hundreds of people. It was an online training, okay? But who cares, okay? We'll do online first and then we'll get to the stage next. But regardless, it was a total dream come true. And if you asked me a year ago if, it, if I would ever do it, I would say, not me. Not me, I'm way too shy, I'm way too geeky, I'm way too introverted, people won't wanna listen to me, but I want you all to know that there is power in your story, and no matter where you are in your life right now, people need to hear your story, people love you, and, and you don't even know the people that are watching. Thank you so much for the love, you guys are gonna make me cry, oh, dear Lord. So let me tell you about how this happened, okay? so. Um, earlier today, I'm in this advanced rank chat for my business because I'm an up and coming leader on, in, on the team here. And, uh, one of the, the famous Jessie Lee Ward, for those of you that know her, she asked in the chat, who here has an incredible life changing story? Okay. And that message came in at 1246 PM today. I didn't even see the message you guys till after four o'clock. You know, I just, I get so many messages when I tell you guys, literally I have hundreds of messages and I struggle to keep up. And then I have all of these leadership responsibilities too that I'm a part of. So I didn't see the ch the, the uh, chat for like four hours. And I thought, uh, as soon as I saw the question, my heart skipped a beat. Cause I know I have an incredible life changing story that people need to hear. But I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's too late. That was three hours ago, I mean. You know, who cares now? It's like the topic had moved on. The moment had passed, it had moved on. That was my first initial gut reaction. But my heart continued to race, to skip a beat, and I felt that call that I just know that I feel, because I have I felt it so many other times before, um, where I felt the call that I needed to say something. Joanne, you need to speak up, you need to say the thing, get yourself in the chat and say something. And for the second time, I thought, oh, you know, but it's just like, that was like four hours ago, it doesn't make sense now, it'll be fine. And then I felt the call again and it was very strong and I thought, you know what, let me just, let me just put this out there, I just need to do it. Hi Suzanne, welcome. So after a lifetime of regrets, you guys, one thing I can share with you 100% is that when you feel the call, you need to go for it, just go for it. And here's the thing is that I've learned, I've learned, I'm not afraid of the word no anymore. Are you guys afraid? If you are, comment afraid below, but I'm not afraid of the word no. Um, what's the big deal? Somebody says no, who cares? you move on. But at least I can fall asleep at night and at least I know that I put myself out there and that I asked for the job, the promotion, the opportunity. Like I learned to get over the word no because no doesn't really hurt you, okay? At least in this situation. So I went ahead and replied uh, and I, I think it was like 4, 4.32. Uh, I, or I replied and no, I, I replied at four o'clock and I said to her, hey, listen, I've got an incredible story. I love sharing it. You know, uh, this is my story. I gave a little quick synopsis real quick. And at 4.32, my mentor asked me to be a part of the training tonight. Um, and it was, like I said, it was in front of the entire team. I got to share my why. I got to share why I don't give up and why I keep fighting despite all of my failures and inadequacies and the things that I've done completely wrong. And um, like the whole, there were like, I don't know, at least 200 people, if not more, on that training. Everybody was crying. 
I mean, it was such a magical moment in my life. And I, when she asked me to share, I literally started crying because I knew that that was the moment. This is my dream. And you know what? I kept wondering when I was going to get this opportunity to share because I've been on the team a little bit more than a year now. I joined last October, you know, and I've done some small team trainings, which are mean the world to me. But I was looking for that big opportunity to have that big team training. You know what I mean? When was I going to be asked to be a part of something bigger? That's what I was really, really looking for. Um, and I kind of realized something today. The truth is that a lot of times you can't get these opportunities without first putting yourself out there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm very involved with the team. I do a lot of things. I help a lot of people. But because I'm shy, it's kind of all behind the scenes. You know what I mean? And sometimes you really just need to step up and put yourself out there to be recognized. You know, uh, after chatting with my mentor today, she didn't even know how much I love training and that like I was dying for an opportunity to do it. You know what I mean? So it's like sometimes you just have to put yourself out there and just freaking ask for it and just do it. You know what I mean? And that would have never happened if I didn't recognize the call. Um, so step one is recognizing the call and step two is pushing through the fear and just go for it. Just go for it. And you know, you guys, you love me now and you watch me online now. And you know, I, I'm kind of like a natural behind the camera now, but I still get nervous. It's still scary. And I just, you know, it's like a muscle. You start to learn and develop these, these things. So like, if you look at me and you're like, oh, but it's so easy for her, go back and find my very first video that I did one year ago and they're a hot mess and they're awful. So you just, you just have to start doing it and then you begin to become the expert at it. So I can't tell you how many times I've been filled with regret, regret in the past that I didn't heed the call. And thank God today was not that day. You know, I got to share my why. I got to share my passion, my story in front of, in front of hundreds of people in our community marketing space. And I just, what really excites me the most about this is not so much that I went ahead and did it. It's that just thinking about that there's one person sitting behind the, the sidelines just like I was a year ago or two years ago or four years ago when I had other businesses that were failing and I would look up to these people who were leaders and think, you know, gosh, they've got their stuff together. Why can't I just be like them? You know what I mean? I know that there's at least one person out there on the team tonight where as a result of my small piece in the story, my small piece and in, in what it played for them, that their life is going to change forever. And as a result of their life changing, they're going to impact potentially hundreds and thousands of lives. And you know, when you guys hear the call, it's so much bigger it's so much bigger. How many of you guys have somebody that you either look up to and maybe they're close to you and you actually know them? It could be like, you know, a sister, a brother, an aunt, an uncle, a grandmother. It could be somebody very close to you. Or maybe it's somebody you just, you look up to online or, or they're a movie star or whatever, whatever their craft is. And you just, you watch them and they completely impact and change your life. You know what I mean? So that's what I think is so exciting about what happened tonight, about all the people that are going to be changed because of the training and my part in the story that I was able to play. So, you know, I just want you to know that you can do it too. You know, it's all up to you. Whatever it is, that thing that you have going on in your right life right now that makes your heart skip a beat that you're excited about that you just think what if I could do this thing I want you to promise me tonight that you're going to take that first step uh, whether it's let's say you're interested in taking a course and you haven't been in, to, in school forever you know go ahead get online get on the website do a little bit of research take that just any bitty step about seeing what what it would take to just make it possible <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Thanks for the love. I appreciate it. Um, you know, believe it or not, I actually just signed two brand new people on my team within the past seven days. So how exciting is that? You know, and if you, I would love to have you join me too. I know there's so many of you out there that love me, that look up to me and, uh, you know, you're interested in building financial freedom and getting healthy and starting to feel better. You know, whatever it is that you have going on, uh, just feel free to comment or get in my inbox and let me know that you're ready because it would be my honor 
there to uh, to help you uh, start making those beginning steps, those beginning steps. And that's the best part about this community marketing experience that I'm a part of is that you're never doing this alone. There's always a coach, there's always a mentor, there's always somebody helping you. And I've truly found my home and my family, you know? Um, so I'm getting ready to travel to Phoenix next month, you guys, uh, February 13th. So make sure you are watching me for that journey. I finally got my plane ticket. I know I was talking about that on a Facebook post the other day. So I won't do that again. Wait too long to buy my plane ticket because then it's difficult. <laughs> lesson learned but um but continue to watch my story and see all of the amazing things that I'm going to be doing this year and I'm so excited to have you along for the journey whether you're just watching and supporting me and loving and sharing my videos that is everything or whether you want to come along with me because I would love to have you so if you're interested in the business at all and learning about how to make some extra money you can comment business below or leave me some money emojis um, I would love to get you some more information and if you're ready to just start feeling better because you know I'm all about hashtag all of the betters better sleep better mood uh what else <laughs> better fat loss better energy tonight I shared my story and I talked about how the energy saved my life literally I think I would probably be lying in a ditch somewhere if I didn't uh if I didn't stumble across uh the supplement that I take that helps me feel better so uh, if you want to feel better, leave me some hearts below. I would love to have that conversation with you. But in the meanwhile, I want to encourage you to be authentic. Be you. You are perfect just the way you are. Be authentically you. Heed the call. Go for that thing that makes your heart skip a beat because you just never know where it may take you. Because honestly, one year ago, you guys, if you had asked me if I'd be doing this full time or if I'd be training hundreds of people on an online social media platform, I would have said you're crazy. So I love you all. Thanks for joining me tonight and uh, celebrating with me and my joy as I got to, to fulfill one of my dreams so I can check that off for 2019. I've got a large list of things I want to get done in 2019 and leading one of these training calls is actually on my list. So really excited to have that done already and hopefully I'll have lots of more opportunities. So I love you. I've got a great keto recipe that hopefully we can get together and do tomorrow. So um, if you guys guys need anything, just shoot me a message. I hope you have a great night. I'll be back to chat with you again soon. Take care.